Welcome back to another edition of Everyday Health Hackers podcast with Dr. Lisa Leal and today with Kelly Spencer of Silver Fitness On The Go. And today we're gonna talk about some really wonderful things and just like, how do we get consistent? What type of nutrition should we do? What is our protein count and more? So we look forward to you and we hope that you will like, subscribe and make a comment and we will talk about it today. So Miss Kelly, (laughs) tell us a little bit, we were talking before the show a little bit about consistency. Mm -hmm. How do you get that client, how do you get that person excited about, okay, we're going to be consistent? Yes. Yeah. Well, consistency is, I think that that is the absolute key. We can't look at it as a fad. We can't look at it as, okay, I, you know, I mean, there were years of like, okay, it's spring breaks coming. Like, let's get ready. No, (laughs) this is your life. Uh And I think the biggest thing, so there's, there's, it's multifaceted, obviously. So one thing I try to do is have people have fun. Like if they do not, I am kind of a weirdo and I've always loved exercise. Oh, keep being weird. I love keep, it. Keep doing it. I love keep it. Like it. I will pick working out over doing almost anything because I love it. I am. I realize most people are not that way. <laughs> so you have passion and for so it. So I have a passion for it. So I, what I try to do with clients is help them, for lack of better words, find joy and enjoy yeah. it. And if they don't like one modality, we try to figure out something else that yes. they do like and work on that. What that does breed is that consistency piece. Mm -hmm. So, and if we can explain and help people understand that this is lifelong and you make these choices and you're doing it, it's essentially like making Mm -hmm. um, deposits or investments into your retirement account, right? Right. And your best investment is in yourself. So that's one of the things that we talk about all the time. You have to invest in yourself. Exactly. And a lot of people, I I know there are times that I get up in the morning, you know, this morning I woke up a few minutes early. So I'm like, yeah, I get to do 20 minutes extra on my workout and I enjoy my Pilates. And the the key in the consistency is that there's always something that can get in the way. Mm-hmm. There's always a child needs to be carpooled somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Life just happens. Yeah. And so how do you motivate that person to say, I know this is going on, but you also need to take care of mm-hmm. you. Well, and I think that that's the glory of a personal trainer. Mm-hmm. And I realize that that's not something everybody can do. But mm-hmm. specifically for my clients, it's funny. Like, they will tell me, you are here because... I know that I have an appointment. Mm -hmm. You've confirmed with me. I have to keep it. Mm -hmm. And it's super fun to watch. I have clients of all ages. Um, I have families, literally, where I train the husband and wife. And I have one, three children. And they are... They are with, they are young. And so no matter what, like it's happening, but it's also breeding habits that their kids see. Yes. And we work around that. And that's Mm -hmm. why I'm there is I can, I can hold a baby. I can hold a baby while you do this plank. Like that's that's fine. So just, I think, and if you're doing it on your own at Mm -hmm. home, putting it on your calendar as a meeting, like you've got to, you know, just like getting your hair done and Mm -hmm. your nails done, put it on the calendar. Yeah. And just, and it does not have to be complicated. 30 minutes, you know, if you can lift weights, Mm -hmm. do resistance two to three times a week, add in some walks, you're going to feel so much better and it's going to drive you to want to do it more. Absolutely. And you you mentioned something a while ago about, you know, I'd even carry the baby and I I share with young mothers, I'm like, your baby is your weight. Yeah. And you can work out with your babies. Mm -hmm. There's lots of workouts that can be Mm -hmm. decided. And then there's those parts where we all of a sudden, when we're grandparents and uh, when, you know, when the boys were smaller, I mean, it would be fun to lift them up. Now they're, (laughs) you know, they're they're older, so I can't do that, (laughs) but we can swim together. Yeah. You know, this weekend, that they were like, can we swim, Lily? And I'm like, yeah, let's swim over there. And we used to do one at a time mm-hmm. because of their swimming abilities. Now yeah. their swimming is a little bit better. Yeah. And the shore was a little further than usual. So I was like, okay, we're going to do this once. Uh-huh. So, and they had to take a little rest. And I went to go find some toys for them. And then we came back. But it was just movement and having fun yeah. and being in the moment to make something fun absolutely so oh whether God, you're dancing absolutely. with your babies yeah or you're picking up your grandkids yeah those are a few things that, that can be done absolutely. but what about when the grandkids want snacks that you shouldn't be having <laughs> <laughs> well i mean so a lot of times i will refer clients to you um <laughs> Thanks, but we do you. um i do they they all they they all see dr leon oh absolutely. Um, thank you but uh we so i mean nutrition is a foundation right Mm -hmm. I mean and how you feel what we put into us and what we do with our bodies determines how we feel and I want to feel good and yes I think most people do and um women specifically I mean we know now um the importance of protein and you know how that affects our you know us being able to build lean muscle protect our bones all these things 
And so we really stress protein to help with that blood sugar balance, mm-hmm. things like that. Um, you know, as far as it, people like to get into specifics about mm-hmm. well, how many grams do I need? How many? Do, what I typically will tell clients okay. is. This is important. Everybody yeah, listen. What I typically <laughs> will tell clients is ideal is one gram of protein per body weight or right. ideal body weight. Mm-hmm. You know, if we're, if we're trying to lose weight and be in a deficit. So say that again, because that's really important. Okay. So say that one real slowly, because that's really important, everybody. Yeah. How much protein you should get? Um, ideally, one gram of protein per body weight or ideal body weight. So if we're in a slight deficit, because we're needing to lose so a little bit So if you want to lose that 10 mm-hmm. pounds, you mm-hmm. need to take 10 grams yeah. less of yeah. your protein. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Super simple. We can remember it. Yeah, you can remember that. So use your weight. Um, and, and something simple I will do is... Mm-hmm. So clients don't get too caught up in the weeds. It's just track the protein and your calories. Start mm-hmm. with that. Go from there. Because the more, you know, if we get close to that protein goal, yes. you're not going to be as hungry. It's going to yes. fill you up. And, and it um, lasts longer in your tummy, too, longer. so that you feel satiated. Yeah. You feel full. Yeah. And the easiest way to do it is if you realize you're only getting half of what you need, mm-hmm. just add a little bit more of what you're already eating. So if yes. you're having chicken breast and you're eating half of it, which might be plenty for yes. somebody... If you need, if you're lacking and you didn't get enough that day, add another quarter of it. Don't get, don't feel like you need to throw in other right. things or go make a shake or do this. I mean, right. you can just and, add a little bit more of what you And you bring up a great point of, I, I find a lot of p- patients that are on um, weight loss, semiglutide mm-hmm. or terzepatide, they, they struggle with their protein. Mm-hmm. And they're still concentrating on counting their carbs mm-hmm. when I need them to concentrate mm-hmm. on their protein. And that's a, a great segment. So I, you know, I encourage, I'm like, please call Kelly. Oh. <laughs> please call Kelly. Because it, it is, it's a team approach. And, you know, your, your doctors and your nutritionists and what you do, it's a team approach. And mm-hmm. everybody needs to have our cheerleaders, yeah. you know, in there. You know, Kelly will sometimes, she'll call me and, and like, I think I need to tweak this. And yeah. we'll talk back and forth yeah. and through texting. And it is because, you know, we need to balance that information Absolutely. off of each other. So it's kind of like accountability partners. We should have an accountability partner. Mm-hmm. My husband's a great accountability partner because when I want something sweet, because I'm going to be honest, I do sometimes yeah. want something sweet. Yeah. He'll say, gosh, you've been working so hard. <laughs> Do you really want to do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'll have a bowl of strawberries. <laughs> I know, right? And, and we always try to say, you know, all foods fit within yes. reason, right? Yes. So we don't, because we don't want to, like you that. know, you know what? They all fit. You should be writing a reason. book. Oh, you're this so, is great information. Well, maybe someday. That's, That's always been yeah. a goal of mine. Oh, we're so gonna, maybe we're gonna put that on. We're going to put that on there. <laughs> so let, let's talk real quick about um, in the, which we started at the very, very, very beginning of mm-hmm. segment one is osteoporosis mm-hmm. and why protein is so important for mm-hmm. our future. Mm-hmm. Because at our 30s and 40s, it's it's easier to be really vigilant. But as we get older, we kind of get a little tired. And when I say mm-hmm. older, older is a state of mind. So I don't think of any of us as old. Right. I you know, I feel like I'm just getting started. Yeah. My husband feels the same way. Yeah. It's like we're just getting started. Yeah. There's new things to do. So when that client comes in and they're like, you know, but you know what? I'm already 70. Mm-hmm. And I think 70 is really young. Yes. So yeah. What, yeah. What, how, do you, how do you motivate them to say, we can do this. We can do this yeah. together. You already called me, so you're halfway there. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we talk a lot about... Um, balance so the stronger we become and and you know any strength training resistance training we're going to work on balance and Mm -hmm. so as we age it's something we actively have to work on so um you know my 70 and plus well even even my 20 somethings we're still working on balance but but i think um to reiterating that like 70 in 2024 was is not what What it was. was in 1955 right and you want you can still live like you're That's in right. your 40s and 50s when you're in your 70s. Absolutely. I, mean, I share with patients that suffer from chronic pain. Um, I'm like, work on your balance. Stand mm-hmm. in front of the mirror and concentrate on being on mm-hmm. one foot. Mm-hmm. Because when you are, a lot of people with chronic pain, they'll try to go through a doorway and they'll kind of clip their shoulder. Oh, okay. And so when that happens is that their equilibrium is off mm-hmm. because the pain is distracting. They're not necessarily aware of it. They're just necessarily aware of the pain. So that's one of the things that I'll help them concentrate on is just stand in front of the mirror with one foot and mm-hmm. see if and if that's y'all hear squeaking in the back that's dr denali oh. picking up a new toy so yes she she wants to join in but 
concentrating on that. So I'm so glad you mentioned that because yeah. balance is something that I talk about with patients with chronic pain. That's so, so important. Mm -hmm. So we, we've talked about consistency. We've talked about protein. Mm -hmm. Any other tips for the day? So just, I think we were talking about earlier, perimenopause, menopause. Yes. We, as women, have to be vigilant and realize that, you know, I mean, I grew up in the era of cardio, cardio, cardio. We weren't lifting weights. Yes. We weren't doing those things. Well, now what we know with- And pasta. pasta. And, and pasta. eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> and snack <laughs> well. And 0% fat. And, you know, um, but what we know now with how our hormones work, mm -hmm. our bodies aren't made to do that. And so our foundation and how, you know, your testosterone drops, your estrogen drops. Well, you know, a natural way to keep the testosterone up is Exercise. lifting weights, mm -hmm. lifting weights, you know, and I want to stay young forever. So, yes. you know, no, well, it's um, longevity, but it's longevity, it's and longevity. it's and it's how you feel. And we, as we age, and we're in our late thirties, forties, fifties, going through that change, mm -hmm. our body just does not recover like it did in our twenties. Correct. So, what we can do by lifting weights, mm -hmm. building muscle, that actually, you know, and that maintains our body composition mm -hmm. as well. So, if you want a little bit of an aesthetic piece to it, too. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, with confidence. And when you yeah. get confidence, your mood is improved. So yeah. it helps all exactly. of those hormones. So lifting those weights, strength training, simple walking for cardio, mm -hmm. weighted vest walking, like what you mentioned, that's what's going to keep our hormones kind of in balance and align. And yes. if they still feel out of kilter, we call you. <laughs> and then you can suggest some other things. But yeah. I feel like, you know, knowing you and knowing your thoughts that standing by that of like, well, it gives our bodies time to recover, but we're also really working. We're working on it. Because yeah. as I share with women, you know, when we have, we always hear about progesterone and estradiol. And then we, for some odd reason, people will come in like, I'm gaining weight around my middle. I'm like, that's estrone. Mm -hmm. Estrone comes in your fat cells and we want to shrink our fat cells. So it goes against all the goals that we just set. Right. So when we increase our estradiol and our progesterone, it turns that estrone off. So mm -hmm. now that we're, we're having the shape that we desire with the work that we're putting in. And yes, ladies and men, it's a little bit of work. You know, just like a marriage, it's work, yeah. and it's all great stuff. So yes. that was great. Yeah. I appreciate the time today. Well, thank you. You did great. And uh, anyone has any questions for for Kelly or myself, please send us a comment. We would love to hear from you. And uh, in the comments, I will also put her website so that you can reach out to her directly. And uh, if you want to email, you have something that you feel is a little bit more private, you can do info at Everyday Health Hacker. And what is your info that, that pardon me, your email that you can have them, have them call out to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Feel free to email. It's very simple. It's silverfitnessonthego.com. Don't let the name fool you. I see clients of all ages, all, all ages. ages. All right. Yeah. Well, excellent. Well, again, we look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, please like, subscribe and comment. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon.